the VW 040 casting. This is a Brazilian foundry based on the VW. This is the sought after head that is good for porting. And yes, Honda peeps will love this video because we're going to be talking about port volume and all the other stuff. And this is my other pair. This one we've ported a bit more. This is more of like a hot street setup and we're going to be working on this on this video. So yep, stay tuned for this. We're going to keep working on it. And of course, my Clydeberg heads a 041 casting. This is owned by Frank Camper, my friend. He sent it to me. So this is something that I can use in the future. Yep, this might be good for 2054, right? Yep. And so yes, let's keep continue working on the 040. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, now here's my 040 casting head. This is the first pair. This one is mild. I just did a pocket porting, you know, just a basic cleanup. Basically on Honda is a Type R style porting. The entry, we just cleaned it up, but still remains stock at 32 millimeters. So it didn't really get big. It's just stock. We just made it consistent on the round and so that all of them are the same. And the exhaust is pretty decent. Not yet done, but it's pretty decent. All right, here, let's look at it closer. As you can see, the center part behind the bolt is untouched. We just, you know, pocket ported it. This is gonna be good for like a 1600 dual port build or 1679. This is gonna be perfect. Throw in a cheater cam, that's gonna be awesome. All right, now let's check the chamber. Let me turn this. Oh, sorry. Yes, the chamber is still stock. We just cleaned it up. We made sure the texture finish is pretty good so that it's gonna resist detonation. So it's not gonna be prone to pre-ignition. The port finish or the texture finish on the chamber is really, really important. So you gotta get that good. Not too smooth. It doesn't have to always be mirror finish. Just it has to be consistent, at least on around 120 grit. Here, let's look at this. My other 040. This one I parted it some more. This one I'm actually planning to run it on a 1776, 1915, or even a 2054. So we increased the, the the port entry here. But this in a, the cross section is almost equivalent to just 36 millimeter round. So it's not really that big. As you can see, I inked up behind the bowl just to see where I um, I try to avoid touching it because if you touch that area on the center, you're gonna increase the bend and more bend, you know, generally flow doesn't like that. So we try to avoid that. It's 56 cc port volume. The stock one is just 53. So this is not really that large. Yes, you can see there. Let me show you on this part here. We widen this section here. Yes, and on the other side, let me show you this one here. So this actually slows down flow so that the flow could actually make the turn easier. So we're trying to avoid increasing the band and trying to mimic a straighter port. So that's gonna be good. It's gonna be functioning really, really well. Yep. And now let's look at the closer. You see there it's wider, right? Yep. And we're gonna do the finishing touches on this one. Yes, you see the ink there right behind the bowl. If you keep, you know, if you work on that too much, it's gonna increase the bend. That's generally not really good. Yeah, you can see there's wider on the top or the short turn is a lot wider than usual. So it's gonna be really good. So this one actually, you know, it's either 1776, 1915 or 2054. This is gonna be fun. Yep, now here is the Clydeberg 041 casting. This is owned by Frank Camper. They blew the cool the cooling fan because it wasn't welded, so they decided to change heads. He gave me this. This is actually in perfect condition except for the broken fins, but that's fine. The guide air, the guide boss or you know the guide player or the valve stem guide play is not really you know too worn out, it's actually almost like new. This tend to guide, sorry, sorry. As you can see, 
Clyde actually widened the short turn too, right? Here, you see this wider properly, of course. And yes. And this is like 60 and 61 cc port volume. So this is pretty good. It's, you know, it's probably going to have really, really good airspeed. You see that area is wider. Yes. So, of course, as you notice, the old school or the OG porters, they actually weld that area because you're going to punch a hole. That simply means they're widening the short turn, right? And we all know welded heads back in the day does the job amazing, right? Yes, 60 cc port volume. It's pretty good. Because, you know, I've seen stage 3 heads from other people. It's 73 cc. Stage, oh, sorry, stage 2. Stage 1 is 73 cc. Then says stage 2 is 75. Stage 3 is 77 cc. That is fine. I mean, if you're building a 2332 or larger engine, that's fine. But it'll be harder than a 776. It'll be sluggish. So now let's go back to the Z40 here. We're gonna be working on this. We're gonna bring it to the porting bench. Yes, starting to doing the finishing touches. This 56cc will probably turn to 57 when we're all done. So now let's go head on to the porting bench. Here we are. Now pardon me because I'm not used to how to set up the phone to show you a good video. So we're trying to zoom it in so it's closer. Unlike when we're doing Honda heads, we already know the perfect angle for the phone. Okay, here, I oh, see, now it didn't zoom in, so it's here, now it's zoomed in, sorry about that. We sprayed lube, initially we're trying to get the finish good now, and let's go here on the other side, on the chamber side of the intake port, we're doing the bowls, yes, it's getting there, we're up. now we're making sure the shape is good, and now it's going to be good to continue with a different texture, or with actually with 120 grit, so yep. Turn the head here, the other one, the other head, because of course the VW Type 1 has two heads left and right. So here we're getting finished good. So this is still 80 grit. Now here on the inside, or from the chamber side of the intake, I mean, you know. So now let's head on to the exhaust here. This is 120 grit now. It's still far from being finished, but you can see the texture is getting good, getting there. Because it's 120 grit. Yes, it's looking really good now. Starting to take shape. Let me show you close. Oh, yeah. It's getting there. It's getting there. This actually has stock valves. Sorry about the focus. Has Still has stock size valves. So once we have the seats changed, we're going to see if it needs a little bit more touch-up. But hey, it looks good now, right? The exhaust. Now here, let's look at the other side. Yeah. We didn't get to record that, sorry, but it's, we made a few passes on the 120 grit. Now this is how it is. Yes, looks good, looks good. And notice we didn't really enlarge the exit. It's going to kill airspeed or, you know, exhaust speed. That's not good for torque, you know. Yep. Now let's go do the chambers here with the other head. Clean it up. Yep. Now on the chambers, we're doing 120 grit. On the other side, here we flip the head. You can see it's still stock chamber shape, but we're doing the texture finish really good. So it's not, it's not prone to pre-ignition. Yeah, still needs a bit more work, but this looks really good. And because this is a 35.5 by 32 stock size valves, this chamber is still okay. But of course, if we go 37 or 34 or 40 on the intake, we might do a bit of touch up on the chambers just to make sure it, everything works really, really efficient, really good. Yep. This head looks really, really good, right? Now let's go back to the other head onto the chamber again. This is the other head now. We'll clean up the, continue cleaning up the 120 grid. Yep, just getting clean and getting good. Yes, on the other side here. Needs a little bit more work, of course, but hey, looks really good. That's getting clean. The texture is 120 grit, so we are, of course, you gotta use good lube, the mix that we have. Now let me show you closer. 
but yes the texture finish is really really good now so when we reshape the chamber we're still gonna shoot for this same exact texture when we're done this way it's gonna be an efficient chamber not prone to pre-ignition let's look at close yes you can see on the side it's really good now we don't have to disrout it like overkill like so much because then that hurts the discharge coefficient of the flow after it passes the valve seat it needs to be guided into the chamber across the valve so yep let's wash this up and let's show you on the workbench first before we talk about the other things here it is all cleaned up now as you can see the intake ports are almost done not yet but we got the general shape and almost the overall texture close enough but it is still not yet finished because we might change the valve seats to change to a different valve size so we might actually rework this just to finish it up really good yes and let's look at the other head as you can see the short turn is actually a lot wider so it's gonna help flow turn onto that band so it's gonna be really really good now here let me invert the head let me show you as you can see there that's the roof the floor here is actually the roof. You see how consistent that is? The short turn is widened a bit. And remember, this is still stock 040 unwelded head. So imagine when it gets weld, if it, if for the welded head, it's really good. Now, sorry, here's the exhaust. It's almost there. You know, this is all 120 grit, but, you know, it just needs a little bit more touch up and finishing. But it's almost there. The overall shape is there. You see the chamber. You see the chamber is still stock. We just cleaned it up to show you guys and here it is all right so we tend to we actually prefer to lower this section because that when you lower the that section it'll try to mimic the spark plug to be a little bit more centered on the combustion so that's gonna be a lot more efficient if you're gonna have the spark plug much more on the center of the combustion that's gonna you know flame up good like be more efficient so yep now here look, you can see that the chambers are all clean right okay now let's ink it up and let me show you here it is here we made a pattern for one chamber but we're using that pattern for one from based on one chamber for the, all three as you can see here it seems a little bit less right that's the core shift so we always use one pattern for all four so this way it's consistent we're gonna lower that section so that the spark plug is more centered. Here it is on the porting bench. Try to put the pulley there so it won't fall off. Here. Now we're starting with a carbide, you know, just to be so that it won't take too long. Because if you're gonna go with a 80 grit, it's gonna be take forever. As you can see, we just lower it bit by bit just to be consistent. Yes. This is the next one. Then later we're gonna make a pass with 80 grit, then the 120 grit to show you the finish. Okay, now we'll switch the heads here. The other one. Okay, we're also lowering it. This is also based on one, just one pattern. So all four chambers are not quite equal by itself, but the pattern or the shape is from one. So now it's gonna be all four equally the same. And of course, we're going to check the CC once we're going to run this and adjust it accordingly to what separate setup we're going to re run, either a 1776, 1915, or 2054. So, yep, because this 040 has no st step anymore, it doesn't have that 0 0.040 step. Now, this, is a, this has about 38 CC chamber volume. So, we have more room. And adjust it accordingly to the application that we're going to do once we have a finalized setup but i'm definitely going to run at least a 1776 but with a pretty good set of compression like 19.5 at least yes yeah, so you can look at that now it's all good pretty consistent and pretty good this is also 120 grit now the finish as you can see the chamber is still almost stock we just, you know, moved back the edge near the plug. This way the spark plug is more centered 
And so if we run a bigger valve, like a 37 millimeter intake or a 40 millimeter intake, we're gonna readjust this and show you guys. But for now, this is how it is because this is still stock size valves. And you can see the intakes are here. It's good, it's getting ready. So we're gonna do finishing touches on this. We have to yet to finish it because we're still finalizing what setup we're gonna do. So if you guys have a suggestion of, of what engine I would I should build for my stuff, because I also have a seventy four millimeter CB performance stroker crank, a mini stroker, so we can do that. And here's a video of my younger brother's VW Beetle, and we're gonna be building a single port, you know, power machine for him. You can click the you know the video will be in the description below, and also here's my dad's Beetle. The video here also shows my own Beetle nineteen sixty nine that has his engine. That's where we're gonna build my engine. Of course, when it's all done, click here.